guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka Geek XX Chic, and we're back with another reaction to Cobra Kai. We're now into season two, episode five, which is called All In. So in the last episode, we had a couple of moments between each of our groups. Daniel was kind of going through quite a bit as far as trying to get Miyagi-Do on the map after he tried his advertising and the Valley Fest situation, which blew up in his face. And so it helped Daniel come to the conclusion, however, of what Miyagi-Do is actually about and what he wants to attract as far as the type of students that go there and on the other side of things Johnny unfortunately is falling further into the web that creases webbing or creases um spinning as far as this whole poor me situation he's falling for it hook line and sinker and as far as the kids we see that Sam and Aisha they're just on two sides of a, a fence right now that they can't seem to overcome because of these belief systems that they have right now and this new girl Tori has created a new a fresh new wedge between them I'm very much ready to keep going with this journey and we're about to jump into this video but before we do this is your first time to my channel welcome to my channel thank you so much for coming hopefully you'll like it and you'll think about hitting that thumbs up button that way it'll give that algorithm a little bit of a push and it means the world to me and if you've been here before welcome back thank you so much for coming back and maybe today will be that day you'll hit that subscribe button if you do you'll be notified when I do all of these reactions as well as many other really fun shows and we'd love to have you we're on a march to 10k and I'd love it if you were here with me all right that out of the way let's get into episode five right about now freak loser shit lip it, it's not right I feel bad because I know that his mom's heart was in the right place, but this kind of made it worse. You're going to make an announcement? Don't have them make an announcement. Just please keep his name out of it. Oh, because they're not going to figure it out. I'm never going to have any other friends besides Dimitri. I'm never going to get a girlfriend. I'm never going to be anything other than a kid with a weird lip. Well, if that's what you believe, that's exactly what would happen. And it's sad. Johnny's twisted logic did work in getting him to stop thinking that he was nothing more than the scar, but... Uh, it, it breaks my heart because I, I don't have kids, but I don't even know how you handle something like that. It's very hard to help your child understand that this is going to pass. That was stupid. Did you get that from that me? That was incredibly stupid. Maybe. Never tattoo. Never tattoo someone your dating's name on you. Don't even do that with your marriage partner. I'm telling you. I know so many people have made mistakes with that. The whole fence? Hell yeah, both sides. That's like... 1200 square feet uh, actually times two you forgot about the other side get to it go make you strong how about we just cut to the chase and you show me the moves nope get to it come on skippy you said you didn't like getting punched in the face this is a lot easier plus you could probably stand to get a little stamina disproportionate limbs <laughs> That's it. Sorry. I can't even laugh about it because I do too. My arms and legs are so long and my torso is so short. You're not even going to be able to find peace in the meditation, are you? You love complaining. My arms are getting tired. I've had to pee since before we started. If there was a superpower of complaining, he would definitely win. But nobody wins by doing nothing. You make a choice. You make a move. You go all in. The only good part of that lesson that I found is true that doing nothing is still a decision and usually one that doesn't work benefit anybody. Bobby wants nothing to do with me. I've tried. You tried, huh? So you just teach these lessons. You don't really take them to heart. That's about the only genuine thing that Chris has said and it's true. Johnny's gotta make the decision that he's going to. If he wants to be in Robbie's life, He's going to have to earn that trust back, and that is going to take time. Because I prefer to be a shirt. Not saying that you have to be a skin, uh, unless you want to. I support your right to choose. Less is more, my friend. Less is more. He's so high maintenance. Show me sand the floor. Why don't we just sand it again? It's, it's pretty smooth. No, no, not actually the movement. Surprising in the movie Show when the Daniel movement. kept bending down and Mr. Miyagi just hit his head. I can't imagine why. Next thing I know, my friends are taking karate and becoming alpha jerks. I'm literally being threatened by my best friend. I understand what you're going through. Intimately. I do. Except for the best friend trying to kill me thing. 
fact that he didn't even realize Robbie wasn't in that house till now says a lot. Yet I'm pretty sure you know exactly where Miguel is right now. Seriously, what are you working on? What? Is it something dirty? No, it's nothing Show me. dirty. Come on. Gotta give Tori points. She knows how to go after what she wants. Sam and I have this thing for her octopuses. Her octopi. Octopi. It's kind of like our relationship mascot. She's like, don't care. I was actually hitting on you before this, but okay. That's why you do your homework first, girl. How much it must kill him to know he's got to go to Daniel to find out what's happening with his own son. But that's Johnny's fault. Even like parents with, you know, partial custody usually have the bare minimum of knowledge of where their kids are at. He lives with the LaRussos? Yeah. That's assault. I really would have called the police on him because Johnny needs to learn he can't just be be beating people up. I saw your Yelp review. Take it down. Like seriously? My Fighting over a Yelp review. Look, like two people ever read those. That was so the first move you should have done is run. I don't want to have to hit a girl. Oh, shut I up. Stand a chance. Exactly. Ah! <laughs> it's like Dimitri, you're in the way. Please move. <laughs> Balls. That's what you get, bitch. You jumped into his foot. You jumped into it. He's just standing there as far as I'm concerned. Uh... She's a nice person. I would have just let him pass out on the on the pavement. Well, they were gonna hurt Dimitri. We had to do something. It's true. Are you mad at us? No. Oh, That's oh, what you're man. supposed to do. That was self-defense. Karate isn't only about self-defense. It's about protecting others. By extension. I heard you ran the 100 yard dash in under 10 Shh. seconds. Daddy did. He's a very fast runner. Neris Targaryen in there and <laughs> I'm just Sam Tarly. Sam Tarly was an amazing Sam character. Sam Tarly did kill a White Walker. Amen. You watch Game of Hell yes. Oh, I am so down with GOT. Right? Who who isn't? Anyone could be the hero. Mm-hmm. Right? And heroes don't always wear cloaks, as they say. <laughs> capes. Cloaks and capes. You know what I meant. Sand the floor. Other side. See, that's the sign of a good teacher. You meet your kids where they're at. You don't belittle them, demean them, and make them feel like crap because they didn't stand up to where you wanted them to. But I'm not dating a bully. Where are you going? Moon's growing. We're not... No, we're not. Excuse me? This means forever. And I didn't ask you to do that. Right? You're an idiot. Never, ever. I cannot stress this enough. Tattoo somebody you're dating's name on your body. Do not do this. Maybe get a shirt at most. A monogram piece of jewelry, but never a tat. You tat your kids' names if you like them. You tat your parents if you like them. Maybe even a best friend, but that's even risky. You can keep punching their hawk, but it's not gonna change the fact that you don't like yourself. Mm -hmm. Crease There's is like, this fight. is exactly the kind of broken that I like. The fight is only over when you say it is. So toxic. Now he moves my son into his house. Really? Because where did your son before that? The only way to end a rivalry is for someone to rise above it. Amen. You having fun, right? Yes, I am having fun. Now that I look back, I don't know why getting dizzy to the point of almost passing out was fun as a kid. Because now you do it as an adult. It's kind of gross. <laughs> Holy shit. That was awesome. You've never seen a plane fly before, sir? We really need to get you out more. Make a move. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Oh, there he is. He's with the program now. Sadly, it's not really the move that he wants to make. That's what little Miguel wants. But Miguel's heart is still very much with Sam. But he's gonna figure that out the hard way. Making a s'more with a peanut butter cup? That's amazing. Kind of a genius. I have to say, now put that in between an Oreo, it's perfection. You'll die, because it's diabetes on a stick, but it's delicious. Ooh, speaking of marshmallowy moments, doesn't her dad live here? And now finally something good's happening and I can't mess it up. I was screwed up, yeah. He's a good kid, he really is. I'm proud of Robbie though for not just following his. 
penis. Straight out of the third movie. And this is the part that ticks me off. They even took Mr. Miyagi's Medal of Honor. That's war, period. That's war. What I love about this is I take a picture and then I would say, hey, look, this is what happened. This is what Cobra Kai did to our place. Get every last one of those little kids arrested, period. Uh-uh, I'm not about this. Oh, they're just kids BS. Their little asses need to go to jail. To face Mr. Miyagi's memory like this. No, y'all going to prison. That shows you how dumb Hawk is though. He actually leaves the evidence right on the car. A sensei mentors. A sensei elevates. He doesn't teach destruction and disrespect. Period. You don't earn a medal of honor by stealing it. Mm-hmm. Come in here and poach my students. What are you gonna do about it? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Kicked your ass once. I wanna be a bigger man. Oh, good for you. Where do you think you're going? T to a place where I'm not dealing with this. I never liked it here. Good man. We don't want to be bullies either. Thanks so much for that. That part sucks because it wasn't Johnny's doing, but that right there, he should know. He should know. That's what makes this situation so difficult throughout the whole series is that Johnny, he does go to, like he does cross the line. Let's not sugarcoat that. That's always been his problem. Even in the movies, he, he crossed the line. He, he never knew when to just kind of stop and keep it to where the battle belonged. However, we all know he wouldn't have gone and like destroyed Miyagi-Do Dojo. He wouldn't have done that at this point, right? He wouldn't have gone and defaced Daniel's car, especially after what he just went through with his car, right? But in both cases, right, before with Daniel and his cousins going and burning his old car and now with his students going off and defacing Miyagi-Do, like both of them are kind of being pushed into this circumstance where because of their prior prejudices towards each other, they just believe the worst immediately. And neither of them just says, wait, let me just go and talk to the other guy and figure out if this was something that they knew about. Ask them about it, right? Because Johnny's not exactly the brightest bulb in the chandelier, right? If he actually did something like that, he would actually admit it, right? He's not smart enough to be like, no, I have no idea. You'd be like, yeah, I did do that. I, I broke your dojo and what, right? Like that's one thing with Johnny. He's a bully, but he's a bully to your face. He doesn't try to act like he's a nice guy in front of somebody else. He'll be the same jerk across the board. So the fact that Daniel would think that he would do all that and then just like not own up to it. Cause you saw when Daniel even said, oh, you didn't punch one of my employees. He just went, mm, right? Cause that's Johnny. He's like, yeah, I did that, <laughs> right? So if Johnny said he had, he had no idea what happened to the car or what happened to the dojo, that's the truth. He would have owned up to it. But of course, Daniel, as I said before, we know he moves a lot from his prejudice against Johnny and the belief system that there's no way this man could have changed. And in that moment, I understand, like I have to take Daniel's side on this one because, you know, Mr. Miyagi's my man, he's my boy. You know, he's my man, he's my guy, I just can't. And the fact that these guys took something, and I mean, obviously I don't think that Hawk actually knew what a Medal of Honor is or what it actually means. But to take it, that's just crossing a line. Like that's Daniel's dad for all intents and purposes. And you stole something that's irreplaceable and you know, irreplaceable in the sense of the sentimental value. And it also what it means to their relationship, the car as well, the banana boat, as they call it. That was the very first car Daniel ever owned. It was the very first gift that Mr. Miyagi ever gave him. Like there's just so much history and sentimentality in those things. So Daniel was operating completely out of a place of real hurt. And I understand that entirely. If it had been the other way around, Johnny would have been just as angry. So I understand it. But again, I love that we saw like Daniel, personally, I probably would have just gone over and punched Johnny straight in the dick. That's me. But <laughs> the fact that he still managed to hold it together enough to be like, this is you, this is your philosophy. This is what you're doing. And I, what I loved about that scene in the dojo at the end is when Daniel said, your teacher or sensei is supposed to elevate their students and to teach them to do better not to destroy, right? And also the fact where he says that, you know, anybody who had any honor would know that the way to get a medal of honor is not by stealing it. And you saw it, that hit Hawk, right? He was like, oof, even he knew 
that he crossed the line there and did something really, really wrong that I'm sure he did not feel any better for doing at the end of. But, you know, that those two things I think were great. And I mean, obviously it served the purpose because some of the students who clearly were already having an issue with the way things were being run at Cobra Kai and the, the bullying behavior in particular, because not all the kids are bullies, let's be real. Like not all of them are going around trying to pick fights with everybody. But the ones who did see that behavior, they knew that was not for them and that's not the way that they wanted to go. So I'm really proud of that one kid for deciding like, uh-uh, this never felt good. I don't like it. You know, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of strength to walk away from that pack mentality and walk away from people who you think are your friends and walk your own path when you know it's not the popular one. So on the other side of things, love the moments between Sam and Robbie and how they're bonding. And of course, there's a little bit of a spark there, but is that spark 100% because they like each other or there's a little bit of a high going on after their fight? Like we see with Miguel, he's still very much into Sam. They didn't break up because they don't like each other anymore. They broke up because they're on divergent paths as far as their thinking at the moment. And that's mostly on Miguel's side, right? Miguel, the negative side of Cobra Kai, taking over some parts of his personality, right? That's what Sam's not down with. She didn't even care about the fact that he was a Cobra Kai. It was the bullying mentality. It was the aggression that she didn't like. And even Miguel's starting to recognize that slowly, but you know, that's why they broke up is my point. It's not because there was no longer interest, but you know, Sam's really not going to bend right now because it has become a thing about the dojos and it's a little bit above them at the moment. And we see Tori's in there trying to wedge her way in. She's got her eye on Miguel. She managed to get his attention for now, but if she was older and wiser, she would know that trying to get a guy who's on the rebound is never a smart idea. <laughs> Tori's not the kind of girl I think that cares too much about those things or thinks that far ahead. And conversely, I really, love seeing Robbie, you know, especially after hearing Daniel come in after their fight and show all this concern for him and then tell him that he's so happy he's a part of the family. Like that's something that Robbie has not felt like he's had a sense of family ever, I'm willing to bet. So to know that he's being seen as a family member to Daniel and be part of this family that for all intents and purposes is a pretty stable and happy and healthy environment. I completely understand how he's like, if I start, you know, sleeping with the boss's daughter, like <laughs> that might be a line that I can't come back from. So anyway, another great episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.